Welcome back. This is um, a continuation of Dynamics Worksheet 4B, Forces on an Inclined Plane with Friction, and we're going to do a run through of question eight. Looking at question eight, we have a cyclist and his 14 kilogram bike is going down a hill which has a elevation of six degrees. His overall acceleration is 1.2 meters per second squared. And we're asked to calculate three things here. Firstly, the net force acting down the plane due to um, both his pedaling and the weight force, then just the weight force alone. And then finally, what is it that he's, what force is he actually um, uh, putting in because of his pedaling? So let's just firstly draw ourselves a force diagram. The force diagram here's, has him going down the page here. So let's put our um, our bike. Um, we're told that he's 66 kilograms and his bike is 14. So that makes an 80 kilogram mass. So this is basically 80 kilograms there. And we know that going down the plane, that component of the weight force is mg sine theta, which we'll need in a few more moments. The plane is at an angle of six degrees. Obviously, this is not the scale. It's much more than six degrees. Um, now, let's have a look at the first question. The first question is asking us, what is the overall force that is needed for him to have an acceleration of 1.2 metres per second squared? Regardless of this value here, what is needed for this acceleration? So for question one, all we're going to do, apply is F equals MA. The force needed would be is 80 kilograms times 1.2. Um, when you do that, that is 96 newtons. I think, yes, 96. Okay, so overall we need 96 newtons to maintain this acceleration here. Number two, how much of this acceleration is due to this weight force here. So this force here is made up of two things. It's the weight component, that's what's pulling him down because of gravity, plus his pedaling. Ped, pedal, oh, that's it, pedaling. Okay, I spelt pedaling wrong. Okay, so this is the weight force there. So that's um, the force down the page, sorry, down the plane is mg sine theta. And that would be 80 times 9.8 times sine 6. Let's um, work that out. So 80 times 9.8 times sine 6. That's 81.95 newtons. Okay, so that's the force going down the page. Now, part three says, well, there's not, this is not the only force that is parallel down the plane. There is also a force going up of four newtons, which is friction. So the overall force acting down the, um, down the plane, so F down, and we'll just say it's the net force, would be 81.95 minus four newtons, which is acting up. So minus four there, that's 77.95 newtons going down the plane. Right, now, don't forget that this is the weight component, okay? Reduced because of the friction, okay? So what is the, um, what's the amount of force that he needs to do to go down the plane at this? So what's the pedaling force? What pedals do he has to push? Um, therefore, he would need to, he's got to get 96 newtons and 77.95 is coming from the forces from the plane. That includes gravity and friction. So calculating that, so that's 96 minus 77.95, and we get 18.05, 18.05 newtons. So it's 18 newtons 
um, that he needs to supply. We're rounding that to the nearest uh, Newton. Okay, I hope this helps. Thank you.